Dero, we rolling? Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another session of the Playhouse. Ooh, I have excitement galore <laughs> on this one. 2022, our first lady, super excited. Oh. Our first of many, our first of many. <laughs> so super excited. Yes, ladies, as you can clearly see, I've had you. And I promise you this year, we will have more <laughs> ladies than men. That's yeah. a promise. So this is me just starting it off. Yeah. I am super excited about the guests that we have in front of us today. We go so way back, I don't even know where to start. Yeah. Yani, we have got a lot of history together. The time when she interviewed me, meaning yeah. that in case you didn't know, she was a radio presenter. <laughs> she is a huge content creator. I mean, massive what she's doing in the content creation space. I say content creator, but I also add in there, she's also a podcaster. Got one of the most amazing podcasts. We're going to be talking all about that. In the NGO world, in the acti activist world, she is a champion. And you're going to be hearing a whole lot about that. And this she's been doing for a whole long minute. I'm blabbling with my intro, but I still have to continue because there's still more. I'm just shocked to find out that she has written a book. And guess <laughs> what? I get the first copy. Yeah, I'm throwing that in even before you guys. Okay, the second copy before you guys even know. Uh, so super excited. She is also an author. Mm -hmm. She's been in the music and entertainment industry in a way that maybe of you will be shocked to find out. Mm -hmm. uh? Uh, she <laughs> is a poet. She's in poetry. Yanni Adele, your intro <laughs> just keeps going, going. I know there's some. She is a. I don't even want to call it an MC because she's beyond an MC. She's mm. entered moderation. Yeah. And not just moderating Pulse conversations, <laughs> which she can do. I asked her, so which. Uh, when you were moderating the president, you know, she asked me, which president? <laughs> 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 to show you lens. <laughs> <laughs> she is huge when it comes to the moderation <laughs> space. I am super excited to have this conversation. Super mm -hmm. excited about the guests that we have on us. I promise you, this is one of those CTAs that you want to begin sharing even before we go in. She's come in, got her glam on. She's looking <laughs> so fine. Thank you. She's also taken, in case you're wondering. <laughs> she got a ring on her finger. Sorry, guys. This one's gone. <laughs> But it's going to be a pleasure. It's going to be an yeah. amazing conversation. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, put your hands together for none other than Adele Onyango. <laughs> First and foremost, guys, honestly speaking, I think this is the biggest CTA fan we have. Yes. Like, I mean, I'm impressed. Absolutely. I love, I love what you do. And you know, the thing is, when you mentioned that I've interviewed you, mm. I realized I was like a huge fan at one of them, there's a particular song of yours. I can't remember the name yeah. that I used to play so much because I really connected with it at the time. Yep. But yeah, away from the music. Now where's that? Now where's that? Was yeah, it because I used to play it a yep. lot on one of them. Nobody else played that. Yeah, song. exactly. <laughs> and I just used to like me. I like it. <laughs> it speaks to me, you know. Yep. Um, but CTA also now I found that I'm a really huge fan of what you're doing with yeah. this platform. Um, I loved the interview with um, Wallace um, mm -hmm. from Zambia. Yep, yep, yep. Um, the one with Solomon. Uh, there are themes that are talked about that I've never found on any other platform. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I listen to you. I watch you guys and listen in the mornings. That's yeah. Know, I thought you were just saying it, but nope. then as we've had breakfast, yeah. Um, courtesy of Sarova Hotel, first and foremost, how do you find this joint? What? <laughs> you guess. So when I was driving here, I remembered because this is a legacy a legacy hotel actually, yeah. right? So I remembered my late dad coming here back in the day, and mm -hmm. obviously things have changed, um, and and management has changed and all of that. But it's important because it's it means this is like something very iconic when you're talking about like yep. Nairobi, mm -hmm. right? And then we walked in. So the first thing that stood out for me is like the art. Yep. The art on the walls and the ones in, in the space that we're recording yep. are by a Kenyan artist. Yep. P or Yugi. Like I've read, I'm like, oh my God, they've been like promoting a Kenyan artist. This is great. Let me shock you. Yeah. Uh, just so we're in, we're in room 401. Yeah. I think it's 301. It's the same wing. It's only a women's wing. It's called wow. the Wa Wangare Mazai wing. <gasps> and the, it's dedicated to Wangare Mazai. The art on the wall what? represents. It's so amazing. We're going to okay, film can it we and please go that. and see yeah. afterwards? Like, so guys don't know that yeah. Sarova has had this complete makeover yeah so. it's beautiful and of course then we had bacon which is like one of my favorite things <laughs> in the world you had breakfast you had <laughs> bacon i had bacon okay there were other things on my plate but the bacon was stirring. <laughs> 
yeah yeah so it was a lovely 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 breakfast i just have to say a big thank you to sarova just for the hospitality yeah. you understand of course as somebody who has conversations with people you understand the importance of just allowing them to be enter the environment for Absolutely. the conversation to happen yeah you, know, you to come early do your makeup exactly and make sure that who does your makeup because i think daisy I've met her just today yeah and your stylist because girl you're looking <laughs> fine <laughs> thank you <laughs> brian babu yeah my yeah. people are awesome yeah They're big awesome. shout i have to yeah. start shutting them yeah up. okay adele you know the drill on this show let's get into the story okay so my first question to you is let's Let's talk a little bit about your upbringing, your childhood. Okay. From the very beginning. Yeah. yeah. So I'm the third born stroke, last born <laughs> of three girls. Mm. Um, I think my mom did really good family planning because we're three girls with three years in between each of us, like exact. Mm. <laughs> and um, all our names begin with A. Mm -hmm. So my elder sister is Anne-Marie, middle born is Amanda. And then me, my full name is Adelaide. Mm -hmm. um, Adelaide. Adelaide, yeah. And like that's what's on your ID. That's what's on my ID. Whoa. Yeah. But then um, nobody could pronounce it right. So my mom insisted on Adele, uh -huh. which she would spell A D E double L E. So I used to spell my name wrong, Adele, for the longest time. Me, I used to think it was A D E L. Mm -hmm. And I thought my mom was just being swaggy. Yeah. And then I was just like, no, <laughs> that's what that's how I spelled. So, um, yeah, so my childhood was very, I mean, I don't know if it was relatable because I grew up in a home that wasn't your typical African mother type home, mm -hmm. right? So, um, my beginning years, it was like mom, dad, and my three sisters. Where, where, okay, let's, let's start there. Where, where, when, what year were you born? 1989. Okay. Yes, yeah. 1989, February 5th. It's not too late to send me presents. <laughs> <laughs> not too late too much um, and um so we grew up and where is this, is in, this in, uh -huh. yeah so we grew up in uh, born and raised in nairobi we grew up in karen mm -hmm. um my first formative years and so you know first and foremost being a last born you're not the your older siblings don't want to hang out with you because you're not cool or mm. whatever so i think why i bring that up is because my imagination and creativity had to come alive back then mm. so your games you're playing by yourself karen like they're not they're no neighbors who are super close where, where in karen were you um there's a road called miotoni road oh miotoni road yeah I know, so that's i, I know miotoni road and it was ba like back in the day when there was like thugs like yeah. I mean, the number of times like thugs rocked up let me just say miotoni <laughs> road is so posh right now it's it's yes. crazy posh i actually and i think i'll give you the picture uh, i'll send you the picture because we didn't when you say karen people think affluence and money yep, yep. especially but we we were in a very humble home I get right it. we were in like a two-bedroomed like cottage style home mm. but i don't even think i thought it, it was less than like it was so my mom made it so warm and like so cozy so mm. you don't even think about that and at that age i didn't realize that i mean i knew our neighbors had like huger homes <laughs> <laughs> there was no <laughs> you could see ours in, and then <laughs> so, <laughs> so there was that but i don't think i attributed it to like oh so they have more money or yep. whatever i never reached that mm. that thought but um yeah so we didn't have very many neighbors uh, and the neighbors that we had, I remember the nearest neighbor was a woman called Pat mm. and she was super old. So no mm. kids. Most of the people like didn't have kids and yeah. whatever. So like that, that, that sector of Karen was old school money. A lot of the whites were still. Yes, yeah. exactly. So you've got your own compounds. Hence why. Yeah. There's, it's not like an estate where you can just. No. Yeah. yeah. And then we had like, what I remember is we had a lot of maasai gods mm. um and so at like 5 p.m they would almost like put on a show but it's like they're hyping themselves from the night i think it was cultural for them but obviously as a kid you're just like eh, popcorn <laughs> it's about to go down <laughs> and they would be like like doing their songs and they had bows and arrows mm. right and my dad would always be like, you know, the tip of the of the arrow has um, poison. Yeah. So whenever they shoot it, I remember like running, <laughs> like, hey, I don't like a loose <laughs> drop of the poison. Yeah. But yeah, it was it was a nice childhood. Like looking back, they were very nice, warm moments. But like, um, you know, I had to, as I was saying, I had to really like 
it was you would play by yourself so yeah. our front lawn i remember being there's a game i used to play people think it's weird like um it would in my mind it was a swimming pool and because you're playing alone you're both the swimmer and the coach so i'd like <laughs> swim to the end and then stand on one side okay do 50 meters butterfly and yes coach <laughs> which it sounds so sad right now but like <laughs> It's because my sisters were watching Jamadelic yeah. and whatever. They don't want to like hang out with the toy. <laughs> like whatever. I'm like, that's so creative. Like, <laughs> exactly. You, were, you, were, you, were, you didn't have people in your estate to play, not in your estate, in yeah. your house to play with. Yes. With, with the young kid. So you decided, hey, I'm going to make up my own world. And I used to be like the performer. So like, um, I remember my sisters and they were just, I feel sorry for them now, but my mom was being a supportive mother. And so um, this song by Casey and Jojo, All, All my, my life. life. Oh my God. <laughs> I had it the other day and I was just like, it's taking me back. <laughs> <laughs> so we had like a cabinet, um, like, a, a sh like shelves. And then the curtains. So in my head, that was a stage, mm. right? So everybody would be told to like sit down on the couch. Adele is performing. That time, I'm not even singing. I'm lip singing mm. with, the, with the with the with the remote. So I'm like, oh my baby, baby. <laughs> And so, I, when I look back, I'm just like, okay, I guess I was destined to get into the space I am in because I was like, just theatrics and yeah. performing. Yeah. And luckily, I had a mom who would entertain it. It was never, um, stop doing that and mm. face your books and whatever. Yeah. I mean, we did get scolded and beaten, yeah. but my mom would have a conversation with you. So, you know exactly why you're being scolded. Mm. You know why this mm. is happening. Whoa, for real? Yes. That and is... Um, I, I, Oh, whoa, that's, yeah. that's huge. I've got daughters right now. Yeah. In disciplining them, one of the things my wife tells me is about don't just discipline, explain. Explain. Yeah. So she used to do that then. She used then. to explain then, um, even when, because I mean, I never used to pass like math or uh, Kiswahili. And not for lack of trying. I tried. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and my mom, I remember, would tell me the questions when you bring the report from home. She'd say, did you try your best? And I think that works better than beating a child because mm. they failed. Because even the terms where I know I did not, I was playing and or whatever, it would hurt so much. I'd feel so guilty when she, she'd ask that because I knew I didn't try my best. Okay. You know what I mean? I want to, I want to, I've heard you mention your mom a lot. I've not heard you mention your dad. So my dad was part of the not so good <laughs> um, parts of my childhood. Not to say, okay, it's, it's kind of unfair to, to put that on him because I, I guess I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him. So mm. I, I give him that. Yeah. Um, he's now, they've both now passed, mm. but, but we will get to that. But my dad, I think in hindsight, he wasn't, he wasn't the best. He, actually, he wasn't a good husband at all mm, okay. <laughs> and he was not a good um father at all in that regard because if you treat your children's mother in an abusive manner mm. then that means you're not being a good father at the same time yeah. right yeah. um so my dad was like very abusive to my mother um mm. very i think physically i know physically because physically you could see mm. but because i was so young but i'm just assuming there must have been some emotional abuse mm. as well mm. um i think he had a problem with alcohol i'm i'm now diagnosing in hindsight like trying I to be like it. okay and i think unfortunately he was born in a generation where those conversations with men just didn't happen mm -hmm. and he was the first born um you know not to make excuses to him that yep. okay fast ones can get away with nonsense but you understand i i kind of now the the older i get um and i also again therapy it helps you just be like okay i can kind of understand i'm not excusing what you did but i i can kind of understand how you got there and then there was no solutions in that space um so my dad in that regard we didn't really we didn't really have a good relationship because mm. of that. Yes, now, 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 despite despite him and your mom, you and him didn't have a good relationship. Yeah, because I mean, if every time and 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 again because of therapy, I've understood that my my 
my anxiety issues can be stemmed back to that. I didn't mm. know. I used to think they came from purely um, my media. media. Wow. My actually, I actually thought I developed anxiety during my kiss days, but kiss was just like a trigger. Mm. You know, they were elements of it that came from childhood, like where you're you're seated and wondering if you're when your dad comes home, you're like, I hope. He's not going to be violent today. Mm. You know what I mean? Um, and there's something I even said on my podcast, which is sad, like at that age to be negotiating with God and being like, just make sure today is good. And I promise I'll do ABC. Like, no, mm. you know what I mean? In that, in that regard, like just make sure he's not, he's not violent today. And Okay, I promise I won't miss church or you know yeah, those yeah. silly negotiations that um, a child would make with but but it's not normal and it's not healthy yeah. you know and and I I'm very thankful that my mother um, who's also passed now but she was cognizant enough to know she has three daughters um, and at that time I mean she was leaving my dad in 1999 um, coming That's 10 years later yeah, coming from a very, like, strictly Catholic um, family and space and surrounding that is just like, divorce is mm. not a thing that mm. we do, you know what I mean? <laughs> you must do <laughs> 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 And so that was something radical she was doing back then, mm. you know? And not only for herself, but I also... No, it's like to show us that that's not love, that that's not normal. Mm -hmm. I have three girls. I really don't want them to think this is okay. Um, and she was leaving while or after she got diagnosed with breast cancer. So can you imagine dealing with breast cancer and a divorce in this, our country? With three kids. With three kids. Girls. Girls. Yeah. School fees. In India. And it wasn't like those um, divorces for movies. <laughs> I'll get the kids on Saturdays. And <laughs> <laughs> it, <laughs> it was not those. It was not. Nothing <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. It really was not those. And and so you know, I I think I'm very thankful. I never ever resented her for doing that. If anything, I I celebrated the fact that she did that because I'm not too sure we would be the strong women we are without that. If she if she stayed. And now, just even before we get to your school, yeah, I want to know what about now you and your in your sisters? What, yeah, I, what were you tied? What's the relationship? Oh and, then, my God. and please note, I'm asking, will progress as the story goes? Yeah, at this time, childhood. I mean, childhood we're very close. Obviously, we're fighting like mm. crazy. So like, um, my elder sister Anne Marie, at that point, is like the cool kid. She's going to Coolio's concert. I remember I, I dubbed over her, her autographed Coolio tape. <laughs> <laughs> and that was when I realized, oh, when you press this button for the radio and then you talk near the speaker, it records you. <laughs> so she's li listening to some Coolio track and then all of a sudden, is this thing working? <laughs> <laughs> she's mad. Um, so she's like the, at this point cool and I, I think at this point I'm like looking after her she she embodies everything I believe is cool mm. um, from what she wears mm. to um, she's three years older than you no now her she's six so she's the eldest okay, right okay. and so she's like the music she's listening to um, she used to call us to be her background <laughs> singers <laughs> so I always laugh and tell people when I go for New Jack I sing lyrics, not because I like the song, it's like, I remember, <laughs> I remember, she'd be like, you stand there, you stand there, and then we're all there, and she's like the Beyonce, oh. <laughs> and it was like, so she's like the cool person, and then Amanda, Amanda, I was like her greatest childhood nemesis, you know, like, we would fight, we would fight we would wake up it was so weird we'd wake up fighting so i'm just like couldn't what would have happened in our dreams so of course imagine she's like you wake up and do, 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 like physical fighting and so i was the like at sokota high and yeah, like needle yeah. her um i remember this one time because i would like 
floss that hey, my hair is so long so i put like a fringe and show her look my hair i can't even put it in my mouth you can you can you do your <laughs> and then she tells me no 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 i'll even cut your hair so i'm like see cut it see cut it my sister can't <laughs> my friend just, just it's even just <laughs> <laughs> I still remind her of that today. I'm just a kaki wewe. <laughs> but um, one, like, we're fighting. And uh, my mom, I remember, used to say, it's okay. You guys just keep fighting. The one who's, who remains alive <laughs> will continue <laughs> with that <laughs> one. But she was very... We were all very protective of, of each other. And mm -hmm. up to now, we're really close that's like that's i talked literally i was chatting my sisters before yeah, so they know you're on cta they know i'm on cta yeah. they know everything i'm they're my greatest cheerleaders to date they fight my internet rules for me the eldest one especially yeah um but even then i remember in nursery school i can't remember there was a boy who said something mean or nasty to me and my sister amanda this one used to beat me i think she was the only one allowed to beat me mm. <laughs> not others yeah 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 she took her um her lunchbox i don't remember those lunch boxes, boxes snoopy yes. <laughs> the nini, and she twang at this guy it was it, and i can imagine my mom having to deal with that because it's like a good thing what you have done is good you've protected your sister but, but now, then also it's violence <laughs> so it's like nee, what do i tell her and she did that so many times even through primary school i'd get into because it's my mouth and i'd be like let me call my sister. Now when I see things are I'm like, let me call my sister. Amanda! <laughs> and she'd be there. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> then we go back home and start fighting each other. But so so we were very close. Um we're very different in mm. characters, mm. but we're very, very close. Even back then, as much as there was like the normal fights yeah, between yeah. Siblings. siblings. Yeah. Okay. So I've had you mention. Let's start your school. Your schooling life. Yeah. Let's, I've had you mention nursery. Can you remember where you went? Yes. It's a church. <laughs> it's um opposite Loreto Convent Valley Road because that's where I went to primary school. Opposite uh -huh. there's a. It's it's now called Sitam, I think. Is it oh. called Sitam? Yes, yeah. Uh, it, uh, your, it, that time it Christ was is the um, as a ministry. Sitam, Sitam Valley Road. Before it was called Nairobi Pentecostal Church, NPC. Yeah. Was it called that? Anyway, there was a nursery school there. Oh, okay. There was a nursery school attached to that church. And um, so that's where I went. Actually, that's where we all went to nursery school. Mm -hmm. And at the time... You'd leave Karen. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, I mean, the traffic... The traffic wasn't was, bad. Yeah, it wasn't what it is now. It wasn't bad. But, but you see, you'd leave... I mean, when you think about it now... Yeah. That's a distance to go to nursery. Yes. Yeah, so we go to so whoever's in nursery is dropped nursery, and then um, my eldest sister and I guess when Amanda now crossed over, they go to LCVR. Yeah. And then my mom was working in CBD at um, AFC Agricultural Finance Corporation. Okay. And so your dad? I, and my dad had a law firm, his own law firm at also in the CBD. Okay. Yeah. So I guess it made sense like yeah. coming to town, they just dropped and traffic. I. There was traffic, yeah, but it wasn't it's not what two it hours. Yeah. It wasn't that. Um, and I remember it being, I guess, I don't know how it is now, but I, I guess then it was different because she's coming from a very Catholic family and now you're taking us to a nursery that is a completely different denomination. Mm. And I remember one time we had a very interesting teacher who taught us how to get rid of the devil. I don't know why she was teaching us that, to be quite frank, because it's nursery school, man. Nap time, coloring, bus. <laughs> why are you adding <laughs> things? And I was so excited. Exos exorcism. Yeah, right? <laughs> I was so excited. I thought, man, I've hacked something in this world that even you adults, hum <laughs> So I went home. When I went home. I was just like, mom, hey, today, <laughs> I'm about to school you guys. <laughs> and I was just like, yeah, you put your foot down, bah! then you say, Riswa. <laughs> <laughs> and, <I was> <laughs> and I was just like, Yanni, Yanni, this, is, this works for everything. Everything. Yeah. And my mom was so pissed off, man. The next, and I couldn't understand. I'm like, I've just given you a hack. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want the devil <laughs> dancing around you? <laughs> and we went back to s when she dropped me the next day. She really like gave that teacher a tongue lash, and she was like, "Don't, don't scare this kid like yeah. this, you know. Don't 
stop putting things like that. I bring her here for, so she can socialize with other kids, so she can learn small, small things. Don't, don't start giving her things she doesn't really understand right now, mm. you know? Your mom, yeah. from a, and I need to just stop and just appreciate her, from a parenting perspective, yeah. was on point. Absolutely. Very intentional. Absolutely. That's a rare... And, and in that generation... Exactly. That's, what, that's what's blowing yeah. my mind. Like, in that time... So, so just before we, we progress with the story of primary now... Yeah. For kindergarten, were you there the whole day? Yeah, I think That's I was there so the weird. whole day. You were there the whole day, so yeah. you'd be picked up with your sisters. With my sisters, then we go home. I actually don't remember a time where I would like be picked up at the house. Mm -mm. Unless I've Skyped, but like, <laughs> 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 no, yeah. I don't think so. It was the whole day. Okay. It was the whole day. Yeah, yeah. my kids need to get out of this Bobby fight. Yes, <laughs> it's not a half day ish ish ish. We were there the whole day, and then you. But I mean, I liked it because again, at home there were you not many alone. kids, yes. right? So I here it. I get to like hang out with tons of kids, and it was fun. Okay. Yeah. So primary school. Let's let's transition where you cross the I road. I cross the road literally. And, and yeah, literally. <laughs> yeah. For you, literally. And it's into a Catholic school. Into a Catholic school, um, Loreto Common Valley Road. Um, What's with kiss lady presenters in Loreto? <laughs> right, I, I really don't know. Maybe it's it's maybe it's Loreto. It's okay. just public speaking. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it was it was. I mean, first it was good because my sisters were already there, so okay. you don't feel so there's three girls, three girls, so you don't oh, feel nice. that alone, even though they're. Um, a couple of years ahead of so you. So class one, she's like your big, your older sister's class six. Yeah, my older sister is now in upper primary, and then there's Amanda who's somewhere, yeah. you know. Um, and it was great. I remember my first day at. Um, I know they made us do interviews. I remember interviews, and then I remember when I found out I got in. So we have. Um, he's a member of the family now. Other people would call them call what he does like house helps or whatever but mm. i think he's like an uncle mm. and a father figure and i remember he's the first person i went to i was like i got in i passed the interview his name is chalo mm. so um i remember being so excited getting into class one and my when i got in my the sister i follow amanda was already in the swimming team so then that became the thing that I, I did after school and at lunchtime. Mm. So I immediately got into into swimming. Nice. Um, and and Valley Road at that time, we had like a really strong swimming team. Okay. And so then that formed my, my social life, which really wasn't a social life mm. really, but like weekends you're at swimming galas, lunchtime you're training, Evenings, you're being picked at 6 p.m. Because Whoa. between 4 to 6, you're swimming training. That's how much you were in this thing. We were, like, I saw Mbaka national team for of real? Kenya. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> dust off your shoulder. <laughs> yeah. So, but I think it really, it happened also because my elder, my older sister was doing it. Yeah. So, I, I, and the school was also really, Im, you know, pushing, pushing people it, yeah. to get but, in. But, yeah. like, you... Like check, oh, but also that's the beauty of the influence of your older siblings. Yeah, you're just following sort of in the yeah, footsteps. and then you just find out that you like it, and then you're friends. So I, I'm still friends with my primary school. For in fact, we were chatting just yesterday. Yeah, um, and we we are friends because we were all in the swimming team. Oh, so <laughs> so lunch times we were all trying to eat hot lunch quickly to run to do your swimming training. Evenings we were together four to six. Weekends we were together Friday, Saturday, Sunday because of swimming galas. Yeah. yeah. And so were you okay? Tell me, tell me other aspects about being in a Catholic school. Dad. So what I've heard from you is that the spiritual side, despite what's happening at home, which yeah. can sort of mess things up, which was messing things yeah. up, which can sort of yeah. There's this spiritual side of your mom, which is Catholic, yeah. strong. To I the point where she's putting you in the schools. I don't think. Or was that just a system then? You know. Um, so somebody like my grandmother is catholic strong like my grandmother knew the pandemic was serious <laughs> when she rocked up to church and the doors were closed and this is like months <laughs> in i was saying bro stay at home <laughs> <laughs> she only knew it was serious like hey even pastors do you, p father not pastor yeah. father nini is not there i'm like <laughs> what have you been telling you <laughs> so she's staunch catholic yeah. um my mom understood gave people leeway 
even us, I think, gay mm. people, you I think she put us in a Catholic school because it was more trustworthy. And the school system was really good. It was run yeah, by was really good, good nuns. Yeah. And, and they were really, it was not super expensive. It was pretty affordable at the time. Catholics subsidize. Yeah. That's one thing that people don't, may not know. Yeah. They subsidize school fees, even till up, up until today. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, up until today. Yeah. So you'd see, maybe I think it's second term or third term. That you get to pay less fees because of the subsidies. Yeah, yeah, it de decreases across yep. the um, along the year. I didn't know it was um, from subsidies, mm. but like, um, the so Catholic I the Church is powerful. Yeah. Just say that. yeah, so I don't think it was more of it's a Catholic church. I mean, Catholic school only. I think it was more of first it was an all girls school uh -huh. one. <laughs> <laughs> go away boys <laughs> <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then it was um there was good discipline yeah. it was uh, there was attention it was balanced so it was not like study 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 only it was mm. like a balanced approach um but i remember things like confession you know the things that i'm like i don't think kids really should be going through them because they don't understand <laughs> what the heck they're doing and i i never understood confessions oh. never so my friends and i just click on mine <laughs> we would be walking at first, I felt like every confession day was an ambush because I'd never remember today's <laughs> confession. And I think it used to be every other Thursday or something like that. So from primary school, the church used to, or the chapel used to be on the other side, the, the secondary side. Mm -hmm. So you have to walk from primary school to that side as you're going for confessions. So, so explain, you know, you're saying confessions like this. The guys yeah. here who have no idea what hey, confessions is. Confessions is you can get this cup box <laughs> 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 with, um, with the priest's. Yeah. And you're separated by something that has to shimuz. Uh. <laughs> that I never ever trusted. They're like, he can't see you. I'm like, bruh. Like, I can see him. So <laughs> I'm sure he can't see me. And then, you know, you confess your sins. Um, up, across, I don't know how long me as a kid, I would be like across the past week. <laughs> and then he gives you, is it called penance? I'm, I'm not a Catholic yeah, right now. So yeah. just forgive me. I don't remember all yeah. of those things. But, um, he gives you all of like prayers like yes. go and repent say three hail marys na 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 and you know don't repeat these sins yeah. again and during our trek we would be trading because now we don't know what sins we have done <laughs> <laughs> my kids everything we do is dumb <laughs> so as they're like you say and then now you can't all go and say the same thing because it'll catch on. So you're like, okay, you say you forgot your homework. You, you lied. Yeah, 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 me, I lied. You, you did this, you disobeyed your parents. How oh, I mean, no, no, no. And because you can't then say I have no, nothing to confess because yeah. that even looks worse. I have to confess. So I have the, to confess. during the work where, where, where we're spreading sins, like, yeah, yeah, yako, no, 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 sour. Then now you go and you do your confessions. But to be quite frank, and why I think it's probably not wise to make kids do that because we didn't know what we're doing. Yeah. And so it was just an exercise. We were yeah. not conscious of what it is we were doing. Yeah. We were going through it because we had to do it. We couldn't say no. It was part of the school. It was part, it was part of, of the, the school system and culture. And the, the culture. culture. And everybody's yeah. doing it. Yeah. So you're, you're also going. But I didn't really understand what that was. And then there was mass. Mass. I think I liked the singing. Oh, so why are you singing? I'm not really. <laughs> <laughs> you like the dances, why John? You, why are you miming? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> John, na, 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 na. then the dance. <laughs> but um, I, like you like all of that, but you don't understand what you're doing. So I remember sometimes sleeping during mass. I I don't think I was really conscious of what being a catholic is okay and i i think perhaps that's a an individual thing because i know my sister was conscious of what mm. was going on mm. me i think maybe personality wise i yeah. just i just was not there, me yeah. was there for a good time <laughs> <laughs> um so i don't remember feeling too restricted in a religious sense by being in a catholic school okay. yeah i mean it was normal for like what length is your dress and all mm. of those things but what yeah. about from an educational side? Were you loving school? Were you a clever person in school? Were you just like, nah, man, me, I'm more into this swimming thing? Yeah. Like, where, 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 do, where does that, where I do you stand in that? I think I was very, you could tell I was more into like humanities and arts. Mm. I struggled. When you say humanities, what do you mean? Like history. So in GHC, I loved history mm. and I wouldn't have to study to pass history mm. like it was not hard you tell it to me like it's a storo mm. i get it mm. you know 
I loved languages, so like English, and I loved those. Um, I didn't like home science, so I used to outsource. My friend Angela Hamala used to, you know, you have to do at uh, so all the different um, <laughs> activities. You know, you uh, it's, what are they called? The stitches, the different stitches. Mm, so you have like stitch. this back yeah, double, stitch. Double back stitch. Oh, oh my god! I'm even saying it, I'm just <laughs> triggered. My goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I <laughs> so um, I used to. My friend Angela Hamala was good at that stuff. So I just be like, hey, when if I need it, then now <laughs> you hand it in as yours. You know, you I didn't like meeting. Ah. I had a face Until where I, I tried it. Guys are looking at me like I was a differently. <laughs> can a guy like knitting this much? No, I I guess it's therapeutic also. You <laughs> kind of like forget your she does when you're there because it takes so long. <laughs> but I didn't like it. I didn't like I didn't like home science. Um, I liked um, even Kiswahili. I really struggled with Kiswahili because mm -hmm. I never at any point had a, a teacher who understood how to teach to a creative person yeah so it was very like Galenia, memorize and i'm just like brah what is this <laughs> and then at home we're not speaking swa you know so i'm so happy to hear you're the first yeah. person who's explained to me in a way that i can understand mm. like uh, uh, you're the first person who said it in a way that i get it because yeah. i was in kenya for eight years but i mm. my swahili even i failed swa yeah but it's i've never got it why yeah because at, at home I didn't speak Swahili. And how it was taught but to I you. But I didn't ever think it was how it was taught. I realized it was how it was taught to me. And I will get there. I'm, I'm jumping a bit, but we'll get there. In high school, so I changed systems in high school and countries and everything. And I was studying French. And we used to celebrate all the French public holidays. We learned about the food. We learned, um, you know, how certain things change at certain times. We learned about their transport system, mm -hmm. the metro, the whatever. And you don't realize when you're learning about a culture and how people do things and move, you're, it makes it easier for you to learn the language. Mm -hmm. But here for, Kiswahi for Kiswahili, we're not even talking about the foods. We're not talking about the songs, the dance. Oh. We're not talking about all of those things. And for me, I don't know about other people, but personally, I need to know that, then it helps me learn the language, you know. But if it's just blackboard and chalk, ngeli ya. The only one I remember was kivi. Yes, <laughs> and <laughs> I remember my easiest. teacher like even Pama. coming on my on on my desk. <laughs> and I'm just like, hey, <laughs> what is it war? So I never, I never. So I wasn't, I wasn't um, top of the class, but I wasn't bottom of the class mm. either. I, 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 when I wasn't failing, mm. I was this just is there. Generally. This is generally. Okay. I was just okay. there. Like, okay. you are like out of 30, you are 17. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, so you can't, I mean, she's okay. Mm. <laughs> this, this, I, I don't want to skip that bit. And maybe to, to people who are like us that sort yeah. of get it. I've got daughters. Again, yeah. And I want them to learn Swahili because I've understood mm. the importance of Swahili within this environment. And even how it's growing, it's so commercially viable exactly. now. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, like so even I the EU has just approved it as one of its. Um, I can't remember the tag, but it's like Swahili is like. Yeah, a South big Africa deal has now. made Swahili yeah. l teachable within their mm. schools. Rwanda has adopted mm. Swahili. So Swahili is really taking over in terms of Pan African. Yeah. But I love what you've talked about because as somebody who's Swahili, I thank Giuliani for my Swahili. Oh, name. bless. Other for Giuliani. <laughs> Would we yeah. just stay child. I taught you learning English and you like me, me, Jumbo, Habari. Taught me <laughs> yeah. But what I love what you're saying is so to to teach this a way to teach Swahili, yeah, to somebody else is through the culture, don't Absolutely. just teach them, teach them about the people, yeah, where it came from, tell them stories, yeah. What uh, what does it mean? What uh, what are weddings like, mm. you know? What do they wear? Why is this? thing called this why is this dish only made like this or at this biryani at these times yeah we mm. don't even understand all of that and then teach me how to make it and while you're teaching me you're telling it to me in kiswahili yeah. i'll remember that you hey. know but now ngeli yeah <laughs> i mean that's important but bro there's yeah. ways we can you know make it a bit more palatable that is <laughs> like you so yeah. can end right now <laughs> thanks you can go home yes <laughs> okay <Goodbye. laughs> So let's 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 transition uh, unless there's something that you feel like you want to speak about in this primary time. Yeah. Uh, feel free to transition now into high school. So primary. Uh, so remember in class five, 
um, my um, why I, I think this has only become important to me now, literally based off of my last therapy session, mm. because I realized that the relationship that I had with my mom was the same relationship she had with her dad. Mm. Um, and, and I think I wasn't cognizant of it, obviously, because I was a kid. So in class five, he died. Right? Her dad. Yeah. So my oh. grandfather passed away. Um, and why I remember it is I, I just a lot of after that she really had a zeal for for making decisions that would liberate her and, and allow her to live a full life and now having dealt with her passing and knowing potentially that there was uh, we had similar relationships so mm. her and her dad and me and her mm. or um, I now understand probably why now she was really more intentional about you know leaving my dad and focusing on her health okay. being intentionally there for us so he died in class five and i think and then she got her her breast cancer um what is it called diagnosis yeah it, that same year you mm. know so that that was pretty heavy